Custom fields are one of the most powerful features of 6-bit. With custom fields, you can make 6-bit look like it was tailored just for you. Let me give you an example. So in this database, the seller sells a lot of lumber, different types of boards. So we've created different custom fields, one for board length, one for board species, one for the lister, that's the person who submitted it, and one for the container, that's the location, the box where it's being stored in. Now by doing this, storing this information, we now have this information available to us in a number of places. First and foremost, it's now available on the grid. So not only can we see the board length right from the grid, we can do some really powerful things like we can sort by the board length, we can group by the board length to see all of the 8-foot boards versus the 12-foot and 10-foot boards, and likewise for all of the other custom fields like lister, we can group it by lister to see who listed which items. Joe and Sal. So it becomes a very powerful way to organize and keep track of your data. In addition to being able to see the custom fields on the grids, you now have access to the custom fields in a number of places. You can include them in your descriptions, you can include them on packing lists and pick lists, and reports. So if they're in pick lists and packing lists, you can use this information to help you grab the correct items to send them to your buyers. Let's use another example to use as a demonstration for creating custom fields. So I'm going to go into our Slinky Classic Toy, and we're going to use the Manage Custom Fields button to create new custom fields. Now you'll notice that custom fields can appear in a number of different places. You can have custom fields for items, listings, sales, shipments, orders, buyers, and suppliers. And depending upon where you define the custom field, the input for that field will be in a different location. We're going to create some new item custom fields. So I select New, the mode is Items, and the field name is going to be Target Audience. We want to know who this item is targeted at. So we get to choose the field type. Field type can be either text, that would be just straight text entry, text multi-value, which would allow us to provide a checklist of different values with check boxes where you can select each value that applies. It can be a numeric value, a yes-no field, or a date. So we're going to use a text field. We could supply a default value, I'm not going to in this case, or user-defined values. So we could say the target audience could be a man, a woman, a girl, or a boy. Now these values will appear in a drop-down when we're entering the target audience. I'll click OK to save that field. Now we have a target audience field. I'm going to add one more, and this is also going to be an items field. We're going to call this one, Is It Fun? This field I'm going to make a yes-no field, and we're going to default it to yes. Okay, so now I can enter values for these custom fields, and as we all know, a slinky is fun for a girl or a boy. There's just one more thing I wanted to mention. When custom fields are defined on an item, they stay with the item. They don't necessarily apply to the listing or the sale that's created from that item. If you want this information to travel with the item through the listing and the sale, you can do that simply by defining custom fields at each of the levels. So simply by providing custom fields that have the same name, 6-bit will pass the value from the item to its listing and from the listing to any sales.